In this lecture, I will discuss about the local axis and global axis in ETABS. So here is a 1, 2, 3, 4 story slab with drop panels. Okay, for, uh, and in this building no beams are present. For the presence of beams, I will click all stories and delete some drop panels. Okay, and I will provide the beam on the edges. Okay, here is a concrete beam present. Escape. Okay, so now you can see in this building beams, columns, slab, okay, almost all elements are present. So what are global and local axes? First of all, I will show the 3D view. Apply here. You can see in the 3D view uh, at the edges, there are also both things are present, uh, draw panels and beams. Okay, so now I will show uh, where are local axis and global axis first of all i will show and then i will explain later okay for example here in the object assignment i want to see the local axis for example i want to see the local axis of shell elements shell elements are slabs okay here apply okay here you can see draw panels are also slabs so all these slabs and the draw panels are showing the local axis okay so now for the frame elements here for all the frame elements uh, local axis and the global axis uh, local axis are appearing global axis is here x y z okay so what are local axis and global axis local axis is the inherent property of each member either it is beam column or slab it is the individual uh, axis of the member for example, this beam have its own axis. This beam have its own axis. Each element, for example, this slab has its own axis. So these are called local axis. Means these are uh, axis of each member. And the global axis, global axis is the axis of the whole structure. For example, this whole structure have the axis that is x, y, z. It's x axis in the in the plan, x and y, and the z direction is the in the heights in the floor system in the vertical direction so now i will discuss one by one what are local axes for example for beam for beam the local axis okay here uh, what are the uh, colors of uh, uh, what the colors are showing for example uh, the red color is the local axis one the green color is the local axis 2 and the blue color is the local axis 3. This is uh, the default naming set by the ETABS. Means CSI software has set this naming. I will repeat again. The red axis is the local axis number 1 and the vertical axis is the local axis 2 and the this uh, 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 blue axis is the axis 3. For example, when we define the beam, okay, so first I will repeat for the, uh, I will discuss uh, for the beam, for the beam along the length that is axis 1 and along the vertical axis 2 and uh, the third axis that is perpendicular to the both axis, you can use the right hand rule or the uh, automatically you can understand the third axis is the z axis, uh, uh, three local 3 axis. Here, when you go in the define frame section, for example, here is already predefined beam section, concrete beam section, modify. Here, you will see the axis, axis 2 and axis 3. Here is a beam section. Here is the vertical axis is 2 and the uh, lateral axis is 3. And the one axis that is the longitudinal axis that is passing at the center. Okay. Here in the figure, modify. Here again, the local axis 1 that is in the along the length of the beam 
and the vertical axis that is 2 and the third axis that is uh, local axis 3 so that's why for example if you if you want to check the uh, shear of this beam then you will see in the shear 2 2 in the vertical axis and for example if you want to see the movement then definitely you will go in the um, uh, in the axis 3 movement 3 and for shear shear 2 okay so now I will explain for the columns okay so here in the columns along the vertical axis means along the z axis all the vertical members have its uh, uh, the axis 1 and the in the x direction that is axis 2 and in the third direction that is uh, local axis 3 means uh, in the columns the local axis 1 is the vertical and the in the x direction that is 2 and that is 3 you can change the local axis direction you can uh, make the uh, this to uh, in the x axis that is a green uh, that's the two axis and in the third direction that is uh, blue you can change the axis i will also show how you can change the axis direction now i will show the uh, local axis for the shell elements for the beam uh, slab elements okay here i am closing the one window okay and little bit rotate okay here you can see the local axis for this top slab this is the one axis and in the uh, in the x axis that is the one axis and in the y that is the axis 2 and in the vertical that is axis 3 okay so for example if you want to see the moment about uh, one axis moment about one axis that will be moment 2 2 and if you want to see the moment about two axes that will be moment one one so that's you will see the moment value in the local axis software will not show for example moment about z moment about x moment about y software will show the moments in the local axis so that's all for the local axis so have a nice day